Hello and welcome to my first Fortnite trading card unboxing video. I'm going to unbox this Series 1 box of the Fortnite official Panini trading cards. Literally just released these things. I had to get this box imported from Germany uh, last week. It just got here. There's 24 packets in this box. This is the kind of box you would see in your local store, in your local shop. 24 packs, 6 cards in each pack. Quick maths! That's how many cards there is, roughly. Exactly, even. Now, if I put this box to the side, I also have this box here. A much bigger box, which actually, it's the exact same series, different color box. This would probably be for a bigger store, I guess. You can see the packets just inside there. I'm so excited to open them. Uh, series 1 trading cards from Panini, the exact same ones, but there's 48 in this pack again, coming from the Netherlands this time. They're so hard to get a hold of because they are literally just released, only in some countries. I haven't found any. Actually, there is some in the UK just come in some of the toy stores in Glasgow but they're very very hard to get a hold of so we're going to open this in another video and I actually have another one of these big boxes coming tomorrow so I actually have we'll do two more videos uh, these big boxes and the other videos but for this video we've got the smaller but still I mean this is an even nicer looking box 24 packs six in each let's get them opened up okay so now the seal has been broken oh that's there's another seal to break here you see, I want to be careful with these boxes because they, I can use them. Because these are actually like shop display boxes. So I can use them for like displays for other card unboxings that I'm going to do. And I'm ripping it. You're supposed to open it here. You know what? I'm just going to open it here. And uh, cause I think this is the way to open it in the shop. Because this is obviously meant to be like in shops and displays. All those beautiful packets in there. Oh, look at that. I've never actually bought. I mean, I'm a huge collector. I love Pokemon cards. I've collected them since I was very young. I love I love collecting cards, but I've never had just a full box like this. All these packets in it. Look at all these packets. 24 of them in here. We're going to open them all up. Okay, so there's actually, for, all, for this entire Series 1 set, there is 300 cards to collect in total. There's 100 base, 50 uncommon, 50 rare, 50 epic, and 50 legendary. But obviously, in amongst those, we have rare holo foils as well. Shiny, foil, holo foil, whatever you want to call them. Hollows, most people can kind of call them, but I, I would call them shinies, alright? The hollows are actually super rare. On average, you only get one for an entire box. So on all of these packets, on average, unless we've got real lucky and got some extra ones there's only supposed to be one in the entire box but we will see if we manage to get lucky if we manage to get more than that and um, but we're, we're gonna get some pretty cool cards I'm pretty sure of that okay so let's open the first packet up all right I'm so excited to tear into these I'm gonna try and do it in a way that you see the worst cards first kind of I don't know. <laughs> this is the first pack. So once we open a couple, we'll know which is the best way to open it. So at the back, uh, we have Fish Stick, which is the rare. So he should have been the last one that we saw. And at the front, we have the Pumpkin Man. I can't remember his name with the actual skin. Do they have anything in the back? Oh, they have the names in the back. Yeah, Patch Patroller. Now that's really handy. The way you can tell the rarity is by the little llamas there. So if it's green, it's uncommon. Same as the game. So in Brainiac, the Brainiac outfit, of course, is uncommon as well. But that is a really cool card. I really like that. Then we have this screenshot from in the game as well. These screenshots are kind of weird because they're not actually, they don't show that much detail. Like it's hard to even tell what's going on. Like what is so significant about this screenshot? Nothing really. I don't think these cards are, are too great, but there's loading screens on the back of them as well. And this is just a common, you can see that from the, the little gray llama that's down there. Another screenshot here. Yeah, it's, it's, they're not, this guy's not even hitting the shot. It's just, it's like, it's just like a totally random screenshot, but that's number 29, also uncommon loading screen. And another one here. It seems like most of the cards in the pack are actually just random screenshots. It's got Dar Burger, the Dar Man and the Tomato, Tomato Head down there as well. And an uncommon loading screen on the back. And of course, so the, 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 the best card from this pack was of course Fish Stick. And he was obviously... A, a rare, a rare card. Now looking at these two cards, this one here is uncommon, this one is rare, but they look identical in terms of like how good the cards are, if you know what I mean, like they just look at like identical, if you saw this card and saw this card, you wouldn't be thinking, oh this one is much better than this one, you know? So, kind of weird the way they've laid that out. Okay, on to the second pack, let's just rattle through them now, we've got one open, let's just rattle through all the packs. The elf skin, now this is pretty cool, this is Lachlan's skin, obviously if you if you watch Fortnite on YouTube, you're gonna know what Lachlan is. So now I know, if you open it with the, the foil open, it gives you like the rare one right away, which is such a huge, a huge spoil, I think. So there's a, there's a rare card there, codename elf, 
put them down there. Next one is a loan screen, which is common. And the screenshot on the back, which boring. And we've got a checklist in this one. All right, this is pretty cool. So we can actually check off the cards that we've collected. So that's one through 50 of the base cards. All right, I'll keep that in mind. DJ Yonder, with another random screenshot in the old tilted rip in the back. Semi-auto sniper rifle, uncommon weapon, and uncommon outfit, which is the red-nosed ranger. Nice red card there. I actually like the look of the red cards, even though it's an uncommon. On with the next packet. Um, so I'm gonna try, I now think the rare one comes out of the foil first, like at the back here, which is weird, but I'm gonna try and save them for last from this point on. It's annoying because some of the packets are so difficult to open. There we go. All right, so if I open it like that, rip it to the back, and then take it out this way, we should see the rarest cards last. All right, so we've got our first pickaxe here. That's the first pickaxe card. The angular axe, uncommon harvesting tool. And then we've got, oh, wow. That looks, I mean, that's a weird screenshot of her. I don't know what she's doing there, but she looks really cool. Scarlet Defender skin, uncommon again. Again, another strange screenshots. I don't understand the screenshots. The loading screens I get, but the screenshots I just don't. They're so weird and random. Oh, wow. So this is, I mean, this, this skin's not that great. It's not one of my favorites, but um, it does, I mean, it does look okay with the gold background in her. We're going on to the rear card after this, which is nice. The tier 100 skin from, is it season five? Maybe season five? Legendary outfit as well, because obviously he has the tier 100, he has a legendary dire outfit from, I think it's season five. Maybe it's season six. I don't know, I'm so, my memory is terrible. You wouldn't think I've been playing Fortnite since season one, would you? My, my memory is so bad, but we've got a dire skin and he's our first legendary. But yeah, he looks awesome, our first legendary card. And we got a rare and a legendary in that pack. So that was definitely a good pack to open there. Rare and legendary. Legendary, legendary? I can't even speak. It's, you know, I'm, up, I'm recording this at 4 a.m. in the morning. All right, because I've been busy recording other videos with you Americans, because you like have different times, all right, but it is fine. I'm opening this the right way again, I hope. I'm just really hoping we get a really good shiny, a really good hollow, you know? So that's our second pickaxe. Uh, it's like the accordion pickaxe. I don't, I don't, I don't remember even seeing this pickaxe in game, uncommon. This must be super rare. I can't remember the last time I've seen this. Um, <laughs> the basic uh, assault rifle. Uh, what is what rare is it? It's obviously the uncommon version because it's just well they're all grey, but assault rifle, uncommon weapon, uh Darburg. Why is it always Darburger and Tomato Man? Another random screenshot. I don't get it. Strange. Uh, that's the loading screen of the lifeguard skin with the unicorn kind of rubbering back. Bling, another checklist. Uh, tomato man and burger, and that's a doubler. We already have that exact one, I think. Now going on to the card of the pack. Oh my days! This is a rare outfit, chopper. Chopper skin, pretty cool. A lot of people like this skin. You know, it's it's not amazing, but you know, pretty cool. Rare. I wish these I wish the cards on the full screen were coloured in the background to the rarity. I think that would make much more sense. I'm just going to shift all these other cards out of the way because it seems to just be slapping them down there. All right, let's speed this up. Oh, this this is a really good skin. And uh, well, I mean, it depends if you like it or not, but Whiplash is the, the female version of the cabby skin. And someone was, well, can, someone was asking me if you got this. Although I don't know if they just mean cabby. Someone was asking me because they really like this card. Um, but I don't know if you mean this one or just the male actual cabby version, but I, I, I like this skin in the game. It's really cool. Um, and then we've got this skin here. The High Rise Assault Tripper, which is also uncommon. Random screenshot, yeah, these cards, these, you know, these cards are just, aw the screenshot cards are just awful. They just, they're the worst screen cards. And oh, I just revealed the card at the back, which is, is of course Bright Bomber, which is an, an amazing uh, outfit in the game. It's had so many cool variations and everyone of course loves this card, uh, this, this skin, sorry, but it's a rare outfit. It's only rare, but still, you get a rare in every pack. We've confirmed that now trying to hide the rare skin because it's just it's so difficult with the way that they open it up is it's weird man it's weird <laughs> the med kit the med kit is the first item we see in here what's in the back of it yeah just more details about it okay med kit scorpion outfit that's pretty cool unbelievably i think this is one of the coolest 
un uncommon uh, skins in the game. It's such a really nice skin for it being uncommon. Random screenshot of a default thrown a port of four. Another random screenshot, I think we have that. Oh, these are loading screens in the back, though. We have to check that. Yeah, nothing, nothing special in those. Another random screenshot of a plane in Happy Hamlet. And this female skull trooper. Now that is a nice, that is a nice card. Only rare, obviously. It's not legendary, but I feel like it should be. I feel like I should be a legendary outfit. That's definitely gonna be one of the highly desired cards, I'm, I'm sure. Really cool. Sorry if you see me like cutting away little bits of the video. I'm trying to obviously cut out the boring parts or the parts of me like tidying up packets or moving cards away. You obviously don't want to be seeing that. Trust me, I'm not deceiving anyone. I'm not pretending that you can see me opening all the packets. You can see me revealing them here. So there's nothing like I'm not trying to make it bad. I I, honestly, I have no idea what we're going to get. But this is like the, it looks kind of like the, the Crimson Scout, the male version of the Scarlet Defender kind of looks like. I don't know if that's actually what it is. Uh, this is a six shooter weapon. Uncommon. Uh, we've got that screenshot, I think, already. Raptor, Raptor loading screen's pretty cool. Um, random plane, and we have another random screen. What is he even doing? Shooting a plane in the sky? That's so weird, why? And the rare is, well, I don't even know what this skin is. The Midnight Ops. I could not have even told you that, but that is the rare from this packet, Midnight Ops. I need something to help me open these packets. Like, I'm, str <laughs> they're so hard to open. They shouldn't be, but some of them can be really tricky. Some of them open really easy, but most of them don't. And it's Nog Ops. I love this skin. A, f a favorite of many people you see in game a lot, and the male uh, farmer skin. I think this was actually Hasey. I think this was actually uh, someone designed this, a concept skin, and they made it. The female version is pretty cool as well. The back bling, the little sunflower is way cute. So we have a lone screen here with Lynx and the Sergeant, Christmas Sergeant, Darburg on a lone screen. Uh, a screenshot again, lone screen, lone screen. Oh, this is a, this is. We might be getting a legendary in this because I think this is rare. What's the card behind this? <laughs> no. Is this is this rare? Yes, it's rare. Did we get double rares? Epic! Oh, I was even forget I was forgetting epic was even a thing. <laughs> this is our first epic card outfit. So the giddy up, one of the weirdest, ugliest skins in the game, but it's an epic. And uh, is this Earhart? Yeah, Earhart, Earhart, and uh, giddy up, rare and epic from this packet. All right, I'm trying not to reveal anything epic or rare or legendary until the end okay this pickaxe here fairly fairly new pickaxe hasn't been in too long i don't think the jack spammer may have come up with i don't know this that belongs to it may have come out with the robot skins the nick merck's looking skins i don't know, I actually know what set that belongs to and we've got the or the standard pistol here the yeah, uncommon pistol obviously they all look the same so we wouldn't actually know which rarity it was uh, random screenshot of two skins standing and in, in beside mountains. Those cards, I feel like they could have done so much better with those screenshot cards. They're so weird. None of them are really entered. <laughs> None of them are really decent at all. And the rare skin from here is a female pirate skin, which is called Buccaneer. Rare outfit. Uh, trying not to see anything. It's such an awkward way to open. So we've got the male referee skin right away. He is uncommon. Then we have the Dardburger male employee. I don't know what he's. I can't remember what he's called. Grill sergeant. God, I, I don't. I know people remember the names of skins like so well, but I forget them so easily because my memory is trash. I have the world's worst memory. Random screenshots. Nothing impressive here. Links again. Going out in a plane. And oh, I love this skin. I was going to use this skin as my like official skin for the channel because it's kind of like a kiwi skin. Like obviously it's really green. But Jelly, the big YouTuber Jelly, he stole it first, and I saw him using it. Mesmer rare right outfit. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd people would just be like, oh, you're copying Jelly. So I thought I best not do it. So I mean, if you were buying these cards separately from the shop, I don't know, they're like two pounds, maybe three dollars, three fifty. Um, per pack and you're only getting like if you get the pickaxes and you get the skins they're pretty decent all the loading screens and uh, screenshots seem pretty trash um, <laughs> oh, but there's another skin right away there lead swinger uncommon harvesting tool sometimes you can get quite a few skins in it I feel like if there were only skins and um, they'd be so much better but obviously you know they wouldn't be as rare I'm just gonna like, try and swipe through these screenshots as fast as possible because they are not entertaining and the pickaxe was the rare from this one. Guiding Glow, rare harvesting tool. So that's our first rare harvesting tool. Okay, and we have opened the straight up with the pickaxe again. This is the gatekeeper pickaxe. Then we have the regular SMG submachine gun. 
not the compact or you know, everyone's not the compact everyone's the smg the tactical smg that everyone absolutely loves random screenshot at the tackle hut random screenshot we have the male um <laughs> A uh, Hyperion outfit. This is, uh, yeah, I don't really like this one very much. This one again, the the double helix, which is the the Nintendo Switch exclusive skin, was a reskin of this one, um, which is an epic outfit. Um, the double helix Nintendo version uh, is just better because it's exclusive. But yeah, not a fan of that skin really. And we've already got this one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we already opened this one. Yuletide Ranger. Maybe we didn't. We all, we all be got we got Nogops. It's the female version of the Hayseed one that we got just there, Sunflower. It's kind of like you have to complete the sets in this as well, um, which I kind of like. Screenshot, 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 and Snorkel Ops. Rare outfit. She's going to be rare, yeah. I'm trying to remember the rarity of them in the game, obviously, because it should reflect what they are here. But Snorkel Ops, massive favourite this skin is of a lot of people because one of the big streamers uses it. I can't remember who, but it is quite a, a favourite skin of quite a lot of people. Is this our first glider? Is that us just opening our first glider here? Snow Squall, Uncommon Glider. This is really cool. Some of them look hollow, but they're not actually hollow. Shoot, like, they're just really shiny cards. Uh, the Star Spangled Ranger, which I think was 4th of July special. Um, really cool, I like that skin actually. Random screenshot, random loading screen. We've got, we're gonna have so many dubbers of these, and this is the male abstract skin, I think it is. Oh, dropping it there. Moniker is the male version of abstract abstract right can he no maybe I'm talking no he's not the male version abstract is the male version I'm talking rubbish this skin they look kind of similar so I get confused Moniker they're in the shop quite a lot raid outfit on a purple background so kind of confusing you would think it maybe it was an epic outfit that's really confusing epic make the rares blue make the epics purple make the legendaries gold stick to the same as the game you know so we're guaranteed a hollow in the box. I'm pretty sure it said that. I'm pretty sure that's why I was buying them because it said guaranteed a hollow in every single box. Because obviously these people sell it, the people retailers selling them in the shop, and um, people want obviously will be buying only one or two at a time, maybe packets depending on how much like money they have to spare, how much pocket money or anything. So uh, there's got to be guarantees in there for for hollows. Mister Love, uh, and onto the back one, which is a pickaxe this time, an uncommon item. Which is at the back, that makes sense. Was this the... This was the rare outfit. Why was there a pickaxe at the back? It's normally rare at the back. This was the rare outfit this time, Mr. Love. We'll get better at these. We'll get better at, at, at these unboxings as we realise how the packets work. <laughs> but that one seemed a bit weird. It's normally the rare that's at the back. Or maybe it's the rare that's the second from the back. We're, we're, we're learning. We're learning together. Hi, Kiwi here. I'm uh, adding this in because the Klinger card is actually a hollow foil. It's actually shiny and I skipped right past it because I didn't even know you could get hollow weapons. It was pretty low light, it was like 3am when I was recording this. So I'm sorry that I skipped past it, but I'm putting some footage on screen right now where you can see it in detail and you can see that it is actually a pretty cool card. And uh, I'm sorry for missing out. This is the first one we've done. We will get better at these, I promise. I will get much better at doing these. I've got two more bigger boxes coming up, so they'll be much better, I hope. Anyway, back to the video. Okay. This is a skin we don't have yet, the female version of the elf, Tinsel Toes. <laughs> I really like this skin, it's pretty cool, uncommon. And this skin, this, this the caption for this skin is like, what did you come as? Because it's, it's like a mashup of all, of all different Halloween skins. Bunny Moon, I really like that. I bought that the second it came out because I loved it. Okay, probably the best screenshot we have so far. Still, still not impressive, but probably the best one we've had. And wow, so yeah, second from the back. Oh, did we get a double? We got an epic and a rare. All right, so that's pretty cool. But we got the male version of the Recon Scout, um, which I can't remember his name, it's at the back there, Infiltrator. So obviously he's been in the shop a lot of, a lot of times. So it's the, the Recon Scout that's obviously the, the, um, the much more rare one that everyone would really love to have. And our epic outfit is the Synth Star. Pretty cool. Starting this pack off with the is it Glyph Glider, something Glyph, Dark Glyph, yeah I thought that was it. The male version of the Spangled skin that we got, Star Spangled strip, Tripper, uh, random screenshot, DG on the loading screen, the screenshot we already have I think. And the Dark Bomber, we had Bright Bomber, now we have Dark Bomber. I love this skin, one of the best in the game without a doubt. And then we have this uh, really cool Asian inspired skin which I have, the Musha skin, legendary outfit and a rare outfit for the, the, the bomber as well, but legendary, that gold 
That special gold llama. I think this is only our second legendary, maybe the third legendary. We don't have many so far, but there's a rare and a legendary in that packet. Good pack. Starting off with a pickaxe this time. And they're upside down. The drumbeat, uncommon. The hunting rifle, <laughs> rip. I'm so sad that I got vaulted. Such a good weapon. Oh, this is quite a cool screenshot. I mean, it's still, you don't have no idea what he's actually doing in it, but it's still pretty cool of the night sky. Um, another random screenshot, lone screen, and we got the male version of the the kind of rocker skin that we got there. Right, he's a rare outfit. <laughs> oh, everybody's favorite weapon, the drum gun with a really nice pink background. Actually, a really nice card. Everybody loves the drum gun, right? Favorite weapon of so many people. <laughs> uh, the St. Paddy's Day female skin, Sergeant Green, Clover, Clover, Clover. Should be should be Clover because the four leaf Clover. Uh, random screenshot. Load and screen, random screenshot, load and screen, and the rare from this one. Shoot it as a rare. We don't know till we turn it over. Rare harvesting tool, yep, the abominable axe. Pretty cool axe. I do like this axe, pretty cool. Obviously, it like belongs to the Yeti um, and has has set. Okay, we're down to just five packs now, meaning that we've opened 19 packs this far. Thus far. It's been it's been long and the other two boxes are double this size. I'm going to have to figure out a way to speed this way up. If you're still here watching, by the way, thank you. I appreciate you. Female referee skin, whistle warrior, the spatula pickaxe, patty whacker. We have a random screenshot, loading screen, random screenshot, loading screen. The female sushi skin and the, <laughs> the one for the getaway and they're both... Oh, he's legendary. Oh, of course he is legendary. Yeah, because there's four different styles. Yeah, the wild card and uh, Mackie Master, which is a pretty, a pretty um, favourite skin. I've seen a lot of people wear this recently, but that's rare. And we've got a legendary in this one, which is obviously wild card. Um, really cool. It's always nice when you get more than one in the pack. More than one really good skin in the pack. The dumbbell pickaxes that belong to the, the gym ones, the exercise. Oh, Bullseye! This is one of my favorite skins in the game. I love Bullseye. Wore this for so long. When I, my channel first started getting bigger, this was a skin I loved to wear, but I, I had to keep wearing Iconic because, you know, that's what everyone wanted to see. <laughs> Plus, I, I love Iconic, obviously. Everybody loves Iconic. Random loading screens, random loading screens and screenshots. And wow, the... The cyborg kind of skin, diecast, not cyborg, what is it called? It begins with a C. Chromium, chromium skin, diecast. There's one called chromium as well, right? Is that the female one that's called chromium? Um, that's a rare outfit, really cool. This is a pretty rare skin, Dominator. I think it's pretty rare in the game. You don't see that people wearing that very often. Tack shotgun, uncommon, loading screen and screenshot. I don't, sorry, oh my God, we found fearless. <laughs> Um, sorry if I'm skipping past these screenshots. I don't think anyone really wants to see the screenshots very much. They're not all that entertaining. Fearless skin. Love this one. So many people wear this because of Fearless. And that's really cool as well. I think that's an epic. And this will be a rare. Yeah, rare and epic. The Rosa outfit and Arctic Assassin. Made famous, of course, by Fearless. And the Rosa outfit, which is really cool. I don't have this one, but I really like it. Two packs left. The Prickly Patroller right away. <laughs> I love Prickly Patroller. We, we've got a lot of cards. Like, there's not too many doublers, you know. Like, I feel in this box, we've got a lot of cards. Prickly Patroller, love that skin. Clinger, what rate? I'm, I'm always, like, I think all the weapons may be uncommon, unless they're right at the back. Uh, screenshot, loading screen, screenshot, loading screen. Raptor, we've had that a few times. Uh, I think we've had this one before as well. And the Basketball skin. Triple Threat, which is a rare outfit. We only have one packet left and we haven't had a single hollow or shiny in this entire box. So if it's not in this one, I think we got a very unlucky box. We got a very bad box. Pretty, I've got a few legendaries, um, but I want a hollow, man. I want a hollow foil. They must be super rare if we didn't get one in the entire box. The other box is 48 packets. So we're definitely guaranteed to get one in that, surely. All right. We have this skin right away, the Garrison skin. I quite like this one. Pump Shotgun, the beloved pump, which is now back in the game. I can't believe they vaulted it in the first place. That was obviously never gonna last. 
loading screen and screenshot dg yonder we've had that a few times and the last one for this is mr love which we already have but he has still a rare outfit so he's still pretty cool okay let's do a recap of all the best cards we got okay so we're gonna go through all the best skins that we got these are all the rares epics and legendaries we're gonna go through all these and see which ones we got mr love uh we got triple threat arctic assassin so these are obviously all the rare ones diecast Mackie master the abominable axe which are rare harvesting tool Riot, rare outfit. <laughs> Dark Bomber. Infiltrator. Mr. Love, we got him twice. Moniker. Snorkel Ops. Guiding Glow, rare harvesting tool. Mesmer. Buccaneer. Earheart. Midnight Ops. Skull Ranger. Bright Bomber. Bright Bomber and Dark Bomber, two of my favourite. Chopper. Long Shot. These are still the rare ones. Fish Stick. Codename Elf. Now we're on to the epic ones. So this is Rosa. Synth Star. Archetype. Giddy Up. Wild Card. This is legendary ones now. Um, Wild Card, legendary. Musha, legendary. Dire, legendary. And I feel like the legendaries, all right? We got we got three legendaries in that entire box. We only got three legendary cards and none of them are hollow, which I feel like is the legendary should just be hollow anyway, all right? So from a, a box this size, I mean, the 40, this was a, a really early box I got, all right? The the other box, the bigger 48 one, I feel they're the, those are the ones you're more likely to see in stores and stuff, and I feel like they're guaranteed to have hollows in them. But only three legendaries, I feel like the, the legendaries and the hollows are going to be super rare to get. Um, so I'm really hoping that we can get some decent ones. But hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing video. I'm going to be back with at least another two. Um, if you enjoyed this, leave a like underneath. Leave a comment. Let me know what your favourite card is. What card would you really like to pull? And uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're brand new. Please. Thanks. Okay, bye.